All right. So in this lesson, we're going to continue with coins. Today, we're going to introduce the idea of quarters. We're on lesson 7.2. And basically, it's how do you find the total value of a group of coins? So I want you to take um, nickels, dimes, and quarters from your bag and just kind of set, separate them out. Or you can follow along with me. Okay, so in each box, we're going to put circles to represent the coins that are the same. So for instance, we have a nickel here, okay? A nickel is larger than a dime, but smaller than a quarter. As far as size, its value is five cents. Okay, this is a quarter. So put that in the last box, and that's worth 25. Okay, here we have another nickel. So write another nickel. Here we have a dime. It's the smallest of the three coins. And write 10 cents in it. Okay, so so on. So basically we're just sorting the coins that we have. Okay, let's see. I have one, two, three more quarters. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw those in now. One, two, three. And each quarter is worth 25. Okay. Right now, how many dimes do I have left? I have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine more dimes. So I'm going to draw nine more circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And each of those dimes is worth 10 cents. Okay, and then how many nickels do we have left? We have two, four, six, eight more nickels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so eight more nickels. Okay. So. That's all I wanted you to do was sort those coins and write their values. Now, if we could go one step further and count these to find out how much we had, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 cents in nickels. In dimes, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 100 cents or $1. In quarters, okay, we, we, we're going to need to be able to count by quarters. 25 and 25 is 50 cents. So two quarters is 50. Three quarters is 75. Four quarters is 100 cents or one dollar. Okay. So if I give you one quarter, it's 25 cents. If I give you two quarters, it's 50 cents. If I give you three quarters, you have 75 cents. If you have four quarters, you have a dollar. Okay, or a hundred cents. Let's look at page five, three, four. So as we just discussed, a quarter has a value of 25 cents. Okay, and it looks like this. And every state in the United States has its own quarter. Okay, but they're all still worth 25 cents. So count by 25s, then count by 10s, then count by ones. All right, so we have two quarters here. So 25. Then 50, two quarters is worth 50 cents. Count on by 10, 50 plus 10 is 60, 60 plus 10 is 70. Now count on by the last two pennies, 71, 72. So 72 cents in this collection, 72 cents. All right, count on to find the value. Okay, we have two quarters, 
This quarter actually is from Florida because it says Florida. And Florida was founded in 1845. So $0.25. Cents, then $0.50. Cents. Two quarters is $0.50. Cents. Okay, number two, 25. This is Virginia's quarter, 50. Seventy-five cents, seventy-five and ten, eighty-five. Okay, we should be able to add ten easily to any number. So seventy-five and ten more. Just the tens are changing, and then the last one we have a penny, and that's one cent. Eighty-five plus one, eighty-six. Okay, so again, start with the largest value and count on. Okay, here we have twenty-five cents and fifty. Fifty cents. Fifty plus five, fifty five. Fifty five plus one, fifty six. Fifty six plus one, fifty seven. Fifty seven cents. Three fifty one. All right. Count on to find the total value. So this is back of the Arizona quarter, and this is the back of the Alabama quarter. So we have 25 cents. Two quarters would give us 50 cents. Three quarters, 75 cents. Four quarters, 100 cents. Or $1. Okay, let's look at number five. 25 cents. And then we're going to count on by tens. 25 and 10 is 35 cents. 35 and 10 more is 45 cents. 45 and 10 more is 55 cents. 55 and 10 more cents, 65 cents. Number six. Okay, so this is the back of the Maryland quarter. Okay, so we have 25, 50. So two quarters again, 50 cents. Okay, then we're going to count on by fives 50, 55, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, so 25, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. 70 cents. All right, number seven. Again, we have a quarter, so we're going to start with 25 cents. Okay, but now we're going to count by fives. 25, 30, 30, 35, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 38 cents in number seven. Number eight. Draw and label a coin to solve. Ed's coin has the same value as a group of five pennies and four nickels. What is his coin? Okay. What is his coin? It has the same value as five pennies and Four nickels. So let's figure that out. Four nickels. And then five pennies. All right. Five cents. Ten cents. Fifteen cents. Twenty cents. Twenty one. Twenty two. 23, 24, 25 cents. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. What is his coin? What coin has a value of 25 cents? A quarter. A quarter equals 25 cents. All right, on page 350 here. Okay, read the clue and then choose the name of a coin from the box to answer the question. So we have a nickel, five cents, a quarter, 25 cents, a dime, 10 cents, and a penny, one cent. Okay, I have the same value as five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. Well, five pennies is one, two, three, four, five cents. Which coin equals five cents? A nickel. I have the same value as 25 pennies. Now I'm going to draw out 25 circles, 25 pennies. Each penny is worth one cent. So I have 25 ones. 25 ones is 25 cents. So what coin equals 25 cents? A quarter. Okay. I have the same value as two nickels. Each nickel is five cents, so five, ten. So that equals a dime. I have the same value as a group of five nickels. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. One, two, three, four, five. So twenty-five cents. So that equals a quarter again. And number 13. Tom gives these coins to his brother. Circle the value of the coins to complete the sentence. All right, so we have 25 cents. Two quarters is 50 cents. 50 and 5 is 55. 55 and 5 is 60 cents. And 60 and 5 is 65 cents. So Tom gives his brother 65 cents. Okay. All right. So that's it for lesson 7.2, working with quarters. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.